Okay, so here I'm going to take a look at a few of these questions that are from the Hess Law. And so on this question, for question two, we need to solve for this using these equations. And our, so I've written out that equation I'm trying to sort out here. And I'm going to use these two equations to, to figure it out. So I need to have one carbon in my reactants. This reaction has two carbons in the reactants. So it's on the right side of the reaction, but I have twice as many as I want. Now, you can't find carbon anywhere else in those reactions. So this is probably a pretty good bet that that's the reaction I'm going to use. So I'm going to take this first reaction, and I'm going to multiply it by a half. So that's going to leave me with a carbon solid plus a half an oxygen makes one carbon dioxide gas, and the delta H is going to be half that value, so 110.5 kilojoules. It's still going to be negative because I didn't change the direction of it. In the next reaction, you can see that I've got two waters in the products, but what I want is one water in the reactants. So on this one, I'm going to also multiply it by a half, but I'm going to reverse it as well. So I'm going to write this backwards, and I'm going to get one water because I've got half as many. And it's going to produce one hydrogen gas and a half an oxygen. Now in this case, the enthalpy sign is going to be reversed. And so I've got the 483.6, but now it's going to be positive, 483.6 divided by Two, so it's positive 241.8 kilojoules. And you can see that my half and oxygens are going to cancel out. So I'm left with water, vapor, and a carbon solid, right, are going to produce carbon dioxide and a hydrogen gas. And the enthalpy is going to be the sum of these two numbers. So I've got negative 110.5 and positive 241.8. So that is going to give me a positive 131.3 kilojoules. And this is just asking for the reaction enthalpy, so we don't need to then convert it to molar enthalpy. For the next reaction, I've got 